Hi everyone, my name is Irina. I'm a licensed relationship therapist and today we continue talking about sexless marriages. What are sexless marriages? Uh, what might be going on um, underneath this problem for couples um, and what you can do about it? So um, one of the things um, that people find very helpful is to find a professional to talk about this kind of issues which are very intimate, very vulnerable, um, are very raw um, uh, because talking to just a friend um, can bring its own set of problems. Um, and I see that um, in my practice when couples share that, you know, before they've kind of tried talking to family members and friends, family members in particular is something I would be very cautious about uh, because family will always, at the end of the day, most of the time support um, the partner that is part of that family and they will... Um, kind of alienate their, you know, their, their other partner. And so let's say that uh, fast forward a few months, a few years, you guys, you know, reconciled and um, kind of consolidated um, all your problems and you're in a better place, but your family will always know um, all your dirty laundry. And so some for some, for some family members, it's hard to move past that. With friends is different, but with friends is also... Uh, kind of tricky situation because friends um, bring their own biases into their opinions. Um, therapists, of course, do too, but at least uh, therapists, we have professional training and expertise um, kind of in skills that help us um, kind of work on behalf of it on behalf of the relationship, especially relationship therapists, not just individual therapists. Um, but the relationship therapists who do a lot of training and take a lot of um, do a lot of work, uh, years of work really to learn how love works, how relationships works, how communication um, skills kind of tips and tools can can help the couple. So which a lot of times friends don't kind of have access to all this information. So that that can be um, you know tricky. So I wanted to talk about um, if you were to decide to talk to, to a therapist, what you can kind of expect, um, you know, from that. So getting support and validation is, is one of the most important things that you will, uh, you can expect to get. Um, we normalize um, your problems. We create space for your problems. We feel pain. Um you know, feel your pain, uh, we sit there in your pain, uh, we, we really help you organize it, um, assemble all, all your emotions, kind of, you know, different pieces of emotions together so, so that we can make sense of it, we can advocate on your behalf, um, uh, you know, on behalf of each partner here, I should say, really, because um, it's kind of three of us in the room, so we are um, all working hard, um, to create safe space for each other. The second thing um, that you can expect is gaining clarity on what's going underneath the sexless marriage. Um, a lot of people have very narrow vision of it, like, oh, she doesn't want me or he doesn't, you know, he's not interested and so on. But there is so much going on here, as I discussed in my previous video. Um, um, you know, anywhere from anywhere from different uh, sex drives to sex sex history. You know, the trauma history, the relationship to sex, um, uh, relationship to your desire, um, having having a um, you know having problems, having emotional um, kind of turmoil in a relationship uh, never equals good sex rarely equals i should say i've seen it but it rarely equals good sex um which brings me to the third point that if you were to to decide to see you know professional marriage counselor um you know you will definitely be able to um you know granted you you're finding someone with skills with expertise with the right training with the right specialty um you will be able to work on your emotional cycle 
um, you will be able to learn how to reach emotional for each other, how to de-escalate uh, during arguments, how to actually communicate in a way that feels loving and kind to your partner and feels truthful to you. And that will 99.9% .9 of the time will improve your sex life because as soon as I feel understood, as soon as I feel heard, as soon as I feel seen and loved by you, of course I want to come closer to you. Of course I want to reach out for you. Of course I want to be next to you. If we are, however, in a, in a, in a bad place, right, and having every time we talk, we argue, uh, we fight, or we, uh, we avoid each other, and we don't talk ever, uh, kind of give each other cold shoulders, then probably I'm not going to want kind of to risk sexual, you know, uh, sexual endeavor here. Um, so again, there are a lot of benefits for seeing a marriage counselor if you are finding yourself in a sexless marriage. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, you would like to schedule your free 15-minute phone consultation with me, you can go on my website, www.irinabakelycounselingllc, um, and I would be happy to help you. Thanks so much.